Hey everyone, it's Samantha and welcome, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure you guys have all seen the new iOS 14 update. It seems like everyone has been just reorganizing their phone and just experimenting with all the new things that it has to offer. And it's been really fun. I, of course, had to too. I just wanted to go ahead and show y'all how I organized my phone and like what theme I did and everything. And this is perfect because I've been meaning to do a what's on my iPhone since I just got a new one recently. And it's the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which I full pretty cool about i had the iphone 7 for literally so long and it was just like it was falling apart and i'm just very excited about this one so yeah let's just go ahead and get into it so on the outside i just have this case which is a pila case actually which is super awesome it's in the color blush it is 100 percent compostable and i just love them so much i love anything good for the environment so absolutely love this case so much i'll link it down below let's just go ahead and start screen recording so my lock screen is just this collage i got from pinterest it's very halloween but of course i had to do some editing and make it whenever you hold it down it's this video of harry styles so we made it and posted it on my tiktok so if you want to go save it you can so you open up and here is my first page all the icons are like fall themed and the background is just this little wallpaper that says like autumn and a little pumpkin you can't really see but super cute super simple and kind of neutral first of all i'm just going to be showing you guys how i added the widget and the little shortcut thing just in case i'm going to briefly go over and also put the video that i learned from because it was super helpful so i use the app widget smith super easy all you have to do is just say okay i want to add a medium widget and it's super cool you can add like all these different options they have like a clock you can just add photos calendar the moon phases are pretty cool you can just pick whichever one you want i'll just do this one and you get to choose like the font background color i'll just do this one because i like how it looks and then yeah you can do all these different things super cool and then you put save and then to add it, you just go to the page you want to add it on, hold the home screen down, put the plus sign, then go all the way down to Widget Smith, and then put add widget. It should be there, and you can make like multiple ones, so like I can just do that. Choose like the setting you want. I hope that makes sense. And then the shortcuts also is super easy just go to the shortcuts app so to add one you just hit the plus sign put add action scripting open app choose which app you want i'll just do this one and then you press the three dots and then add to home screen i'm going really fast i'm sorry and then among us so i'll just do that type the name that you want you can choose whichever image you want we'll just go ahead and do the star because it's cute put add and then well bam it's on your page and then you just click it and it goes to shortcuts for a second but it's not that big of a deal to me i don't know it kind of reminds me of like 2014 whenever we all just got that app i don't remember what it was called but everybody had like the themes some people hate it some people love it i just thought you know might as well just have fun with it why not i'm just gonna hide this page again which is super helpful i love that feature back to the video here is the first page at the top i have a widget it's just the calendar i like how it looks i like that it says the date it's october 1st and then i just have the clock widget and my most used apps so we have pinterest tiktok target starbucks youtube uber snapchat which i thought was so clever for putting ghosts and then we just have chase and then i have a weather widget and at the bottom you can't see the names but it's messages safari instagram and then music so my most used apps just such a cute color palette and then the next page is kind of more of a neutral theme and what i found most helpful was actually to go on pinterest and look up like whatever theme you want instagram highlights and a lot of people have like instagram designs that they'll make and they'll put it out on pinterest 
and it's just super helpful to help you like kind of stick with the theme put them all in a pinterest board called home screen because it took me forever to find a bunch of images that went along with each other it took me like at least like two hours to do this whole thing probably more than that honestly anyway so at the top it's just this little motivation widget which is actually an app so the app is just basically a app full of a bunch of quotes you can just scroll through them like which ones you want and you have a bunch of themes you can choose from which i just love so much so you could if you did want to do any type of theme you could it's super cool i just chose this one because it's fall themed and it actually like rotates quotes throughout the day. This page is also full of apps I use a lot. So we have FaceTime, phone, camera, Visco, photos, Poshmark, and preview, which I'll show you guys preview since maybe you haven't heard of it. it imports your Instagram feed and you can just add things to see like if they go with your feed, if you care about that like I do. So you just add photos and see like if you like them or not. So super cool, move them around and yeah, it's just super cool and super helpful. I just wanted to share that one with y'all. I also have maps and then just this photo widget from Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Super cute, I think this page might be my favorite. The final page is more of like a productive page. I have my to-do list reminders widget. Two photo widgets, we have the pumpkins and it's fall y'all. And then we just have mail, group me, YouTube studio, notes. You United, Google Photos, Calm, which I only use to listen to Harry Styles. Yep, there it is. Love that. And then just calculator. And I do have a couple other apps that I don't have on my home screen, but not too many. I really don't have that many apps on my phone. I literally only have one game and it's Among Us, which I'm sure you guys have seen. Like I feel like everyone's playing that game right now. And then um, I have a bunch of food apps. Yeah, we have Auntie Anne's, which is like a pretzel place. Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, Dunkin', Panera, Poshmark, which is shopping, Starbucks, Target, Tropical Smoothie Cafe, which is so good. If you have one near you, you should definitely go. I love Tropical Smoothie Cafe. And then we have University of... I did not just call it. Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Vitality Bowls, which is an acai bowl place, and then Whataburger and Zaxby's, which I honestly don't use all of these that much. I just have them, you know, just in case I go because I just, I love a good deal and they frequently give you like free stuff and like on your birthday. So, I mean, I just think why not? Yeah, I guess that's basically it with my what's on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you all are doing well and getting excited for fall and Halloween and everything. Like and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!